is going on guys thank you for joining me as we are treated with an early access gameplay preview slash prologue of upcoming game scorn so massive thank you to green man gaming and the scorn developers for treating us to this early access code so about scorn i'll give you guys the lowdown so it reads scorn is a mesmerizing labyrinth inspired by the works of hr geiger and z z slow z slow i hope i've said that right an atmospheric first-person puzzle adventure of odd forms and sombre tapestries designed around the theme of being thrown into the world. Isolated and lost, you will have to explore interconnected levels, understand the symbiotic relationships of decaying contraptions to be rewarded, the tools for your progression through cohesive world, part flesh, part machine. The dreadful atmosphere is strengthened by the absence of dialogue and the ominous soundscape created by Athek and Lustmort. Scorn focuses on long lingering tension rather than jump scares and should stay with you long after completion. While there is shooting in the game, Scorn is not a shooter. And while you may choose to confront your enemies, ammunition and health are sparse and every encounter must be carefully considered. Yeah, I'm kind of like that. I, I can be quite cautious um, in my horror games, in any games really, especially horror and survival horror. I don't necessarily uh, take out all enemies. I do like to clear areas, but... In games like this you don't always have the means so, so they have actually give us like a bit of a heads up on that so it says um this is only the very beginning of the game it provides a different perspective from uh, that which will develop over time in your playthrough you will wake up isolated weak and disarmed only your wits will serve you in this 45 minute slice of the game where you must piece together the purpose of the various biomechanical contraptions that you will encounter on the way forward Lastly, Scorn is a vast, intricate and organic puzzle that you will need to comprehend in order to progress through the decaying city. Understanding how these machines operate will not only help you to complete the level, but may also give you clues as to what they were used for when they were still serving a long lost civilization. So yeah, it's uh, it looks a real, um, a real interesting world from what I've seen on the screenshots. I've seen some uh, brief gameplay, but I've not watched people's full prologues of this because I'm, you know, I wanted to keep this fresh when we play it guys um, I understand we are only kind of a few days away uh, from release date now at the moment of recording it was meant to be out on the 21st of October but I believe they brought it forward to the 14th they released a, a last trailer and then actually said you've waited long enough because this has been years in development so we will jump into it guys I'm absolutely dying to be in the world of scum so enjoy guys hopefully it's uh it leaves a decent impression with us, so we will go on new game. Like I mentioned, it's total Vecna vibes. Totally Vecna taking a nap. Okay, let's jump into it guys so i actually have just recorded me playing through this and it didn't pick up the sound of the game unfortunately so it is actually my second run through like just just uh you know straight off the bat after completing it again so to be honest um 
obviously I can, I can talk you through it more now anyway and uh, it'll be kind of less winging it now I've kind of got an idea of what we need to do so it's fine it's absolutely fine guys we're still going to go through this preview together it's such a shame that um like you say I, I just can't show like my raw reaction to this because of uh, you know it's just not picking up the sound but it's fine we'll work through this together and uh, like I say, I, I can explain things in uh, better detail to you guys. I hate it, man. It just didn't pick up the sound for some reason. Always technical difficulties. That's the only problem uh, when it comes to, you know, streaming or recording gameplay. It's when it goes wrong. Those technical difficulties, man. But anyway, let's take in the environment. Such an eerie setting. Not yet, yeah, got what we need to access that door. Like it explains it, all the levels are like interconnected and that there's lots of different paths you can go down, so um you just gotta try not to get too like overwhelmed by them, you know. Just try to take it a path at a time if you can. <laughs> and just work through. I absolutely winged it on my playthrough, so I will absolutely be winging it once again. No way out now, guys. It is shut behind us. <laughs> so we've actually gained something, some creepy uh, ability from this uh, contraption. Because at first I thought it was going to go all Ethan Winters on us, you know, from the, the Resident Evil series. I thought it was going to be poor old Ethan Winters losing limbs again. But now we're we good. We actually gained something from that. get through. Hell yeah. See, this is what I mean. There's, there's quite big areas. Okay. Try not to be too overwhelmed. It's cool as hell. I'll go exploring here first. Like I said, I've literally just played it and I can um <laughs> I've, I've still got to wing it again. Um, so there's nothing really you can interact with this, but um, obviously it will move the mechanisms, the contraption and stuff, but uh, ultimately I think you need like one of these like egg things in order to, you know, place it in these uh, in these parts and stuff. So nothing we can do at the moment. into this main room see what's about so obviously this one you need uh, you need extra assistance because there's obviously two switches does that that opens it slightly Nothing we can do right now. Okay, then we I think we need to go up here. Yeah, I feel a little gutted, guys, that like you can't actually see my, obviously, initial reaction, but it's fine. So I'll interact with this. We've got a nice little puzzle here to do. This will probably still take me ages as well. So you see the, um, the ones lit. 
we need to we need to get those into the illuminated pod over there so we've just got to make room for them okay so we need to do um just got to move some things around if we just move these straight across this one's an easy one The other that's a little more requires a little more uh, puzzle skill. So unfortunately, that should have been our little uh, cheeky creature inside there. But um, it, it messed up. <laughs> it fell to its death. It was like one of them uh, them grabber machines, you know, at the arcades. You think you've got the plushie, you think you've got the prize, clasps it, and then it's just like, nah, ain't having it, nah. You see that? You you got it? nah, you ain't having it now. Yeah, it just it just didn't want to clasp it like a prize, you know. That it should have been our prize, but it ain't now. Okay, so we'll move. Um, Let's get rid of these a second. So we just move these double ones over, get those out of the way. And then we need to get rid of these singular ones. So if we can just get those out of the way. Is that a singular one? If we maybe pop that, pop that one there out of the way. Um, it's just a bit of an awkward one, this one, with it being too too vertical. Obviously, we need that one on the top. It's a little awkward, this one. Just move that there for now. We need to get this vertical one out of the way. Move all these horizontal ones across and then we are good. All good in the hood. It's just the one left here. not quite gonna work okay we'll, we'll make some room for that you really have got to utilize like every space that you get about it yeah it's just real awkward because if you can see guys some of the um spaces they've not got the little pod to put the, the egg there so yeah it's, it's, it makes the puzzle real awkward but challenging though I do really enjoy the puzzles, I've got to say. I do really enjoy them. We literally just need this, like here. We need that in that space. <laughs> we are literally so close. Can't move these any further, I don't think. No, we can't move them any further along. That's what I mean. You, you've really got to utilise, like, every space. I think I've got it actually. Move these along. Right to the end. Create the space for that single one. There we go. It, I just had that moment just there where it just clicks. There we go. It's absolutely possible. It's real rewarding once you figure it out. There we go. So add our pants down with the first one, but this this one uh, it'll be decent.
mysterious creature just chilling in there. He kind of woke him up from his nap, so I, I do apologise. I, I brought G fuel though, if, if you want to be perked up after that nap, after being cooped up in those cocoon things. Okay, let's go. We uh, head back down that elevator. I can remember which way. Yeah, it really is cool once you like piece together the puzzles. Real good. So, uh, we yeah, we have our guy to use on the on these cheap puzzles. So if we um, pop to the main area, um, he should be hanging. Literally, should be hanging out somewhere. <laughs> Pop up here. I can't if there's some controls up here. You can actually control, uh, like direct where the the train track goes. There's like a little kind of train track. If you guys can see on the ground, leads to different, obviously, you know, different like places. So that's us there. Our guy is up there. So I think, um, yeah, I'll have it trailing off over there. So if we just direct it round, that's it. If we have it all the way round, except it just tails off through that chamber, I think we should be all good. So there he is, he's just chilling. So we'll go get him. <laughs> I thought he was here. Hang on, hang on. It's up here, isn't he? There we go. There he is, wriggling around. We'll pick him up. I was just absolutely mortified when we when we found this guy. I was just like, what the hell? What even is this? There's just no explanation for any of this, you know? It's just so... Well, you just roll with it. It's one of those. The game gives away nothing, but you literally just roll with it. Let's go, bro. <laughs> He's like, why'd you have to wake me up? Try this contraption. <laughs> Feels so bad doing it to the guy. You'll you'll see though, it's for his own good, I promise. I'm so sorry, bro. We'll get you out of here real soon. It's real gory. And I love it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's for your own good. Just keep going a little further, then we'll end up tailing off into one of like the chambers. We we could have actually tailed off in another one, but I chose this one. But yeah, damn it. I'm, I'm so mad that, like, um, it just wouldn't have quite worked, uh, the, the first recording that I've literally just done of this. Like, it just had no gameplay sound, unfortunately. It's always good to see my first reaction, but it's fine, because obviously I've just experienced it, and I can just talk you guys through it. It's a little smoother this time. 
Because guarantee the first time you play this guys, you will run around like headless chicken. <laughs> Nothing is explained as like, you know, when there's like lots of multiple paths and things, like it's real easy to get overwhelmed, you know. It's this one. Bring him over to... I'm gonna take you over, man, to, to a, a different recliner. It's comfy, I promise. Or at least it looks comfy anyway. so damn graphic like i mean yeah we cut him out of his shell he's come out of his shell literally but we've kind of just <laughs> sliced away a load of his spine at the same time though well we almost got the spine luckily it didn't uh, rupture that you had a close call there mate it's just a skin tear it's fine been that long chilling he's got no he's just totally used to chilling he's just got no like strength or mobility the poor guy let's go what do you guys think to this creature I think he looks awesome though guys if you observe the detail excuse me mate don't mind us um you look at the detail it's spine and stuff you know so damn detailed and cool it really is I would love to lend a helping hand it's just not letting us interact with him right now but if you wanna you wanna follow us Okay, while, he, while he's getting his bearings, um, so we came through, we came through that way. Just check if there's anything else in this chamber. I don't think there really is, though. We just need to get him back on the, the chair, I think. But you, you are in no fit state to be mobilised. Let's go. Unless he does come with us. Let me just search for that, um... Search that door a second. I think it'll be through here actually. Lead us back to the main chamber. <laughs> Come on, man, we did it. You do it now. If you just notice, it's uh, it's just giving him that that ability, if you could call it that, like what we've got. So open those passageways. Let's go. Let's go. You're one of us now, bro. You're one of us. Come on, man. You need to make a decent impression during this prologue. Damn it. People aren't gonna wanna, you know, t team up alongside if you're gonna be stubborn. Let's go. That's it. It's literally me when I get up in the morning after a late night stream. What happened last night? 
That is actually so me. After I've, I've proper, like, gone for a G Fuel high on the evening, all through to the early hours, and then I've just, uh, G Fuel come down, just like, craving the next lot of caffeine, waking up for a coffee. That's totally me stumbling to the kitchen. So now we're back into the main area. This is the door we need his assistance on. I didn't want to spoil it earlier, guys, that, that we make a new friend. He's our mate. So relieved he's not hostile. <laughs> he's totally chill. Considering we just woke him up from his nap as well. He does cooperate eventually. With a bit of prompting. Oh, don't look at me like that. Saddest sight you've ever seen. Okay, so he's done his bit. He's just chilling there. Again, I just love to admire the detail. Yes, I know I messed up. I'm I'm quite medical, you see. So I I, lo I love stuff like that. I love details, vessels, bone anatomy. Awesome. Seeing all the, the details of the spine and stuff. It's wicked. And this is where we, we have to say goodbye to, to our mate. Um, yeah, he's, he's kind of attached there, so we, we can't detach him, unfortunately. But he's done his bit. So hopefully he'll, he'll drift off and have a nap soon. It was nice to meet you, mate. Oh, friend. Scorn friend. <laughs> Scorn friend. We made a friend, guys. Even in the prologue. Pulled up my heartstrings leaving him. Yeah, it's full of puzzles. Every area. <laughs> Literally everywhere you turn. I can see the, the puzzle's getting a lot more complex in the full game. I reckon there will be. Okay, so uh, another massive lobby with a uh, load of uh, load of dead bodies there. Let's just run around the outskirts, just work out where we're going again. I usually kind of just run in the first, you know, passage that I see and just see if there's any... Uh, can't yet interact with that. Yeah, I'll just usually run in the first part, to be honest, guys. Just, just see what, what's what. Okay, so I'll go head over here. No, but it probably gives me, like... Um, it makes me feel real uneasy as well, because it, it feels like some, some stuff can, like, hatch out this at any minute. It just looks very, you know, fragile, like it's prone to doing that, you know? Um, it probably gives me the vibes of like um, like Alien Trilogy, like on the Sega Saturn slash PlayStation 1. Like in the Queen's Lair when all the eggs are hatching. It, it totally gives me that vibe. They could hatch any second, you know. So, if you guys can see the, the empty kind of cavities on this structure, you can put these pods in there. It'll open up new areas for us. There we go. So, if we just place that there. So, you've just got to find the other pieces. Okay, so, we've done that. So, we'll go we'll interact over there. So we've got 
an area open just there. So there's, there's no way to progress any further. So it's just all about just enjoying the view, guys. Just just chill and uh, <laughs> enjoy the the extremely foggy view. So that's a, that's another gateway open there. It's just a case of finding the other uh, parts to it now. interacting with that part. Just got to find the others now. Like I said, I've literally just, just playing this back to back because the uh, the game audio just did not want to um, appear that first time. But yeah, my point is I still cannot fully remember. Is that much of a maze? Is <laughs> Nothing's clear on this, you know? Still can't properly remember it. I can't remember if we interacted with this part. Yeah, I think we must have done. So we must have to go around the other side, I think. If we just head back into that main lobby area. It's been to the right hand side. I'll just nip over to the left. That should provide us with another one, I think. It's mega cool though. Like I said, there is just um at the moment anyway, obviously during this prologue, there's no explanation for any of this. Like why we're here, who we are, why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, we can't actually interact with that yet. Um, but yeah, we, we just wing it. It's literally a case of winging it. <laughs> oh, shit. Honestly, guys, it made me jump again. This, it shit me up the first time. I shit me pants. It's done it again. <laughs> I forgot it was this little platform thing. I did think, damn, I've lost that initial natural jump scare when I discovered this, but no, it's happened again. Prime example of why I never learn. I never damn learn. <laughs> See, obviously, that's the one we've put in so far. This is our little uh, cheeky weapon. Showcase it to you guys. So I'll head over to this uh, area. Now activate with this now. <laughs> I can't believe that made me jump again. Typical me. Release another piece of the puzzle. Real mysterious these. Uh, this gas is harmful that they're emitting right there. It's just a case of uh, twatting them with this. Nothing um, actually hatches out of them. There it is. Cool. Let's place another thing there for us. It's real awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this. So I don't think the, the puzzles are too difficult, to be honest. They require a little thought, but they're nothing too difficult, though. I'm sure I've mentioned before, like, the, the main thing that drives me to keep playing this game is literally curiosity. Like, what's going to happen? What are we doing? Where, where does it lead? That's what keeps driving me to just keep wanting to play in it, you know? It's 
So we've now opened that other path. It's literally identical to the other side that we've done. So, just again, <laughs> just here to admire the view. Doesn't lead anywhere, um, so obviously we're just missing one more within this puzzle. So I believe, I think we can go... Over this way? I think it's just this side we need to do. Like I say, it's just the exact type, um, same as the other. We can now interact with this uh, contraption here. I think it's cool how it is. That's like a dual like purpose, you know. It's a weapon, and you can interact with the puzzles with it. I think it is cool. puzzle piece they make real freaky noises I mean they sound freaking terrifying I'm so glad nothing like hatches out of them there's a couple that you just have to leave hovering around because they're just a bit out of reach the g-fuels helped with my uh my cheeky cognitive ability with this uh puzzle solving that's right let's bring it round yeah i've just got a real tame flavor of g-fuel i've just got um i've actually got the uncharted flavor which is a uh, coconut and pineapple i actually just fancied a real tame flavor um, because, yeah, lots of them are, like, um, of G Fuel flavours. Some of them can be, like, quite in-your-face sort of thing. But this one's, like, a chill one. I, I just really wanted a chill one while playing this. Chill vibes. So as creepy as it is, it, it kind of has a bit of a chill, chill vibe to it-ish. I mean, our, our guy was real chill with us, wasn't he? We made a mate, so it's cool. He helped us. So that's how it ends guys, so I'm just going to cut to my original footage so you can see my raw reaction after playing this preview slash prologue. Oh man, I had a feeling, is that it? I thought, is, is that is that finished now? And that, that has left it at that. So guys, I absolutely don't know. <laughs> what on earth? Um, how do I even explain what we've, what we've just done, what we've just played? <laughs> yeah, the question is, I, I, I don't know what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's one of those games where... Um, absolutely have to wing it like like i've not long mentioned it's because of the way it's all designed you know it's all internet there's loads of different paths i'm sure there's probably different ways of completing the prologue i'm sure i've read that somewhere that there's different ways of completing it uh, but obviously there you go that was my playthrough and uh, i'm glad we've got through it as well in probably a reasonable time as well uh, but yeah um i will have cut out in little bits of the video where i've been running around uh, <laughs> like a headless chicken but no we got there in the end you know uh, but like i say it's one of those where it's a bit of a maze. There's so many potential paths you can go down. It's sort of trial and error. You work out, um, you know, wh where you're going. And uh, yeah, puzzle-wise, it doesn't give away too much. It's just kind of instinct. It requires, a, you know, a bit of cognitive ability there. 
And uh, yeah, it's, it's just one of those where I just wing it. I absolutely like winged that uh, preview slash prologue. Um, yeah, um, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you don't mind, if, if you did enjoy it, if you don't mind just smashing that like button down below. And also in uh, the description, there is a link to Green Man Gaming. So uh, obviously once this game is released in within a few days time from me recording this video, I just wanted to get this on though to give you guys the early access gameplay. And obviously I've been dying to jump into this myself. Um, it, this will be free uh, if you have the Xbox Game Pass. It will also be available on Steam. Um, so like I say, on Green Man Game, they do have a, a, a slight discount on it. Uh, if you wanted to head over and obviously purchase it or pre-purchase it in the meantime until it's released so uh yeah let me know guys your thoughts on this game it's been uh, it's been an interesting one so my overall thoughts on the game guys um i did really enjoy it um is it still left me um even though we got a, a little chunk of the game you know we got a decent um amount of preview slash prologue there um it's definitely left me um wanting more from the game to you know obviously understand the backstory of how we ended up there you know isolated who are we what kind of creature are we obviously we met we made a cheeky mate in the game that helped us uh, throughout this prologue but yeah definitely it's more than anything it's left me feeling very curious uh, i absolutely love the eerie setting like i say totally gives off that stranger things vecna vibes to me absolutely seems like vecna's lair where um vecna goes for a nap <laughs> but yeah i absolutely um love the environment i hope you guys have enjoyed this early access gameplay of scorn i just want to thank you for chilling out with me i absolutely appreciate all you guys stopping by and uh, checking out the gameplay let me know down below in the comments if you'd like me to do a full playthrough of scorn when it releases i will absolutely be up for that if you guys are thank you for your support as always and i'll see you very soon in another video holster tv out